MATLAB interface to the LumaScope. Uh, first we look at some of the functions. Um, we're running a Bassler camera right now. This is the function that initializes the Bassler camera through this init routine and then it allows for setting gain, exposure, and uh, getting an image and that's all it takes to get an image out of the Bassler camera calling this step function. This is using MATLAB's image acquisition toolbox so again that's handling a whole lot of the magic. Params uh, is a way to request these video parameters out of this function because the scope of vid, this video object, is limited to a persistent variable inside this function. So if you look in MATLAB's workspace, it's clean. There's um, no global variables other than the simulation variable that I've been using historically so I can run the same software and debug it without having a microscope present. I just set sim to true and then this function would just exit right up here. So anyway, that's how we interface to the Bassler camera. The way we control the LEDs is through LS LEDs. Uh, this guy also uses a persistent variable LS620 uh, to keep a hold of the DLL and then it uh, calls LED control right. Let's fire up the GUI, LS GUI. Start streaming. There's not much to see. It's pretty dark. Let's go to bright field. Turn up the brightness a little bit. And uh, silly color map. Let's go to grayscale. Uh, down the gain. Uh, 16 to 18 frames a second is somewhat respectable. H and E slide. We play with the brightness. You can see some decent responsiveness. The um, figure, MATLAB's figure windows support uh, things like zoom. So we can do zooms and I now have the side graphs working. And so that helps focusing. And if we switch to green here, um, oops, brightness helps turning up. We're still zoomed way in. Restore view, there's a whole slide. Um, right region in there. Uh, we see it in both places. Again, if we move that uh, over, move it up and down, uh, you see how the curves follow. All right, so one thing I like to do is take a green, map it to green, but let's map right field to red, none to blue, and then we can stop streaming and switch to a sort of live RGB. And here we're running at about three frames a second, not nearly as fast, but it's sort of cool again to be able to zoom in, play with the focus a bit. And this is running at three frames a second. Here's what it looks like from the top.